world had a crown if the world had a crown for the world's sickliest person huge possibility i'd win because there's actually noise like i went to okay this should be on a vlog but like we speaking <laughs> i went to sensitivity i was wearing slides yeah it rained a bit and then my feet caught um water a bit am i not sick now like as in but anyway hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Toy Kabashi. if you're a returning subscriber hi loves and welcome back this is not a sit down yeah this is a chilled something something i can't drink because i'm on antibiotics because i've been sick of my stomach bug slash food poisoning slash whatever so I'm not going to be drinking anything. It was going to be fun. It's still going to be fun. But like you get when you're a bit tipsy. But I'm going to try my utmost best Because my babes have been wanting. But also I just feel like this is an advice video. So drinking is kind of sort of out the question. But um, I asked my subscribers. Slash my darlings. Um, to send me in their questions. Like me answering questions of scenarios. Of something that they like going through presently something that happened before or whatever and then they definitely just send in the questions or the scenarios and then i say i'm going to answer them truthfully but you guys know always and um 90 percent of the time i like answering things from a personal standpoint because i feel like that's gonna literally make this more personal and you will relate more because knowing that i also went through something similar to what you went through you got what i'm saying so instead of me answering any question like i know this there's, there's, there's going to be multiple questions here but i'm not going to answer all of them because i want to answer the ones that i know personally the ones that i don't know personally i ask i will answer but you know it'll be like we'll make it a bit fun but i just feel like this was a bit sentimental to me because i'm giving you guys advice and you know when i'm giving you guys advice i want to be straightforward and personal and what you get so this segment is called what would exo do like you guys have been asking me i want to do no <laughs> what you guys have been asking me to please do this video because um mostly apparently allegedly i give really good advice which which is kind of true because my friend have attested to it but also i think like i said the fact that i make everything personal like it's it's kind of relatable you get what i'm saying so I'm just going to go maybe through like 10 and then give you the most possible advice that I possibly can and be truthful as well because I don't want you to take away nonsense from this video. I want you to take something real to get. So the first one is <laughs> I'm pregnant and I'm not sure who the baby daddy is. What would EXO do? I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I've been in this situation. <laughs> I'm lying. I wasn't. I was. It was a scare. It was a scare. It was a scare. There, there was a time in my life where I was doing nonsense. There was a time in my, in my life where men were just. I was just doing everything, everything and anything. And oh, sorry. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Before we continue, I said something in my previous some previous video. I said my videos are for twenty ones and above. But like, I cannot hold a gun to your head if you're younger and i say leave my channel because you're here and i don't see who watches my channel so if you are younger i just hope you take away the positives from this video if you're older you get you your babe so we we know what we're talking about i'm thinking about me i'll touch my hair okay let me talk, let's stop touching my hair so <laughs> you're pregnant and you don't know who the father of the child is Honestly, not even you counting back, not even you going back to who you slept with is going to help you. I just think wait for the baby and do a DNA test. But also, if if you're a black person, like, at Ekaigin, what are you going to tell them? Hmm? What are you going to tell them? They want to see the father because you know, when the baby's born, you have to have a surname for the baby. The baby, because when a baby is born, yeah, the parents and the, 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 the mother and father are there, right? So they take both the birth certificates and then, well, what happened to me? 
the, the father of my child was was present um they took the birth certificates both of us ids or whatever you want to call it there's an id i don't know if, if i should say a center or what they in a hospital it was at nelsberg medic clinic so literally there's a small in an office there you just go there your child has an id it goes to home affairs just like that you go and pick it up you don't have to go with the actual baby and do whatever nonsense so um, you not knowing who the father of the baby is i would highly suggest that you just be forthcoming with all the information by telling your mom or whoever and telling both of them that listen i'm pregnant you might be the father my whatever might be the father i don't know how you're gonna buy how you're gonna go about it do you get what i'm saying but what i do is there's two gents involved if there's my man and there's this one now you're gonna lose your man oh my babe just go to this one you're your side or whoever because I'm assuming there's a side and there's a there's a there's a main here go to your side and tell him listen I'm pregnant and it might be yours it might be his I don't know so when I just stay put <laughs> and then you tell this one but also my P is when this one finds out that he's not the father oh baby you're in so much toot. you're in so much nonsense so you need to just be upfront and tell both of them listen I'm pregnant I don't know who the father is between the two of you so we'll just have to wait and see for the pregnancy test. No, sorry, for the DNA test to know who's the father between the two. There's literally no two ways about it. Unless you're that evil or you give another man a baby that's not his, then you can do that. It's entirely up to you. I'm not going to judge you. But I just think tell them both to just stay put until the baby's here. Now you're going to lose both of them. Your side might not leave, but you're definitely going to lose, lose your man because now he knows that you are cheating on him. And you are cheating on him without protection. You're sleeping with another gentle role. Do you get? So, yeah. Tell both of them and just wait for the baby to come. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I love my partner and the life he gives me. But the disrespect is on another level. Um, the life that he gives you, I'm assuming, and I'm assuming, when you say the life he gives you, do you work? Or you don't work, or what's what's the P there? Because once with men, yeah, let me let me from what I've I I have worked for my, I have been independent for the longest time. For the longest time. Like I'm going I'm calling nothing. Like so especially worse when I have my own house and my own car, oh baby, you won't tell me nothing. You get so it gets very awkward when 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 now you're in a situation where you rely on a man because now when he knows that he does everything for you oh baby he has such ample power over you do you get what i'm saying especially if it's those power hungry men who just want to control situations who just want to control their females he will definitely have leverage over you every single time you won't even have a say in that household because he knows that he's doing everything that's why he's now disrespecting you because he knows he's doing everything for you. And he knows you're not going to leave. He definitely knows that you're not going to leave because you don't have anything going for you. Guys, if anything, as young women, as young ladies or whatever you want to call it, but as women as a whole, can we just have something going for us so that men don't come and disrespect you with what they have? You get what I'm saying? Like if a man comes and he adds to your life, but it's better that he comes and adds. He mustn't just come and start from the foundation where he's not fine. There's men that want to do that and they treat you like gold. But there's also men that want to do that because they just want this whole power thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get? So when you are with somebody, make sure that you have your own. When you're with somebody and that person is giving you money, make sure that you save up. Because one day he will just wake up and say, I don't want you. He wants the, 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 and now, a, not a young one. I don't want to say young one because people are just going to see perceive me the wrong way. He's going to now want a new girl that he's not used to. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, he's going to want something that he hasn't seen in a while. Because one thing about men, they'll just go out of their way to just get new pussy every single damn time. So if you are just going to sit there and not do anything for yourself and not have anything in your name, then that's why he's going to treat you like garbage. Because he knows that he's giving you the life that you can't give yourself. That's the problem. So every time, ladies, that you go to a man, make sure that you can back your shit up. Make sure that you can back your shit up. No man can come and tell you nonsense because one thing about you, you can back your shit up. 
you get what i'm saying you have your own car you may not have your own car but have that money in your account for you to like call an uber and say i'm out i'm not going to stand for this nonsense you get what i'm saying it's the same as this is this is cap culture and this is the culture that i know from when i was still working at the club i don't care what anybody says you go to a table there's niggas there they want to buy you alcohol Obviously, they want something in return. It is it. This is known. I don't care who comes for me. You can say whatever you want. This is club culture. I've worked at the club. I know what I'm talking about. No one is gonna come and tell me something I don't know about. When you sit at the niggas table, you already know. You have programmed your mind that okay, I'm here to chill with these people, and after that, they're gonna want something from you. Of which is sex. Let's not lie to each other and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna go and drink. You drinking whose alcohol? This thing of people saying or a woman saying um we i, I, I don't want to how do i say it do you get what i'm saying but you see a group of guys sitting there and you know, just want to go drink alcohol you don't have your own money you don't have money to buy even one bottle of maybe a savannah you leave your house with the mentality that i'm gonna find a man at the club that's gonna buy me alcohol do you get what I'm saying? You get, you are wanting something in exchange and you want a good time. Do you not want a good time? Exactly. So now when he wants something in exchange, of which is wrong, like obviously he wants sex in exchange, then you know for a fact you are grown as woman. Don't go drink people's alcohol because these men will want things from you. Let's not sugarcoat anything, please. They will want things from you in return. So now you can't be surprised when now they say let's go home. You're just like, ha. Huh? Me? When? Exactly. So, have your own. Don't just go to people's tables and you don't have your own. Don't go to people's tables. You can't buy a bottle. I remember when we went to um Saint, yeah? So, when you host, you get a bottle. You get um you get a bottle of your choice, hardly whatever, whatever. When the alcohol that was given to us was finished, yeah? I ordered two bottles of champagne. I ordered Hennessy. The table was nice. Baby was flowing. Obviously, some gen came in. I was like, is this your table? I said, yes, my table. The book had covered for. I was like, okay, thanks, dog. Me, I dipped. You came to me. I didn't fetch you from where you were. You came to me and said, can I please pay for the bill? And I said, okay, no, you can pay for my bill. What you expect from me is none of my business. But for me to come to you and say, hi, can I drink with you? Can I do this? Can I do this? I don't know if you get me. Wanting to drink people. No, babe. Have your own. As women, as young women, have your own. This thing you also you leave your house with vele. That thing you also, I'm going to. You don't even have fiber. You don't have money for Uber. Come on, babe. Come on. Literally. Let's just let's let's sometimes we just need to be real with ourselves. I don't care social media, what social media says. They can they can have an uproar, but let's be real. And let's be real with ourselves. You cannot always expect people to be wanting to know. No. Do things for yourself. Go to the club. Even if you drink a savannah, it's fine. Have money for yourself. I was one I was once at the point. Thank God I never I used to work a nine to five, by the way. I never went to the club during the week because I knew that I have work tomorrow. Every time I go to the club, it was with my people. Every time I went to the club, it was with my people until I, I started working at Vanity. It is my job to drink alcohol. You get what I'm saying? It's my job to drink alcohol. I would get invited to tables to drink alcohol. And after that, I did because it's my job to drink. I had security that would look after me when I say I want to go home. And these men won't touch me. You have nobody. Do you get what I'm saying? You have no club. The club don't necessarily care for the person that says, yeah, you drank my alcohol. No, babe. They cater for their people. So, please leave your house knowing that you're going to go have fun with your girls. Drink four cocktails, whatever cocktails, and go home. And go home. Let's not sugela people in their tables. And then when they want something in return, now we're acting all shocked. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Take this take this however you want to take it but that's 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 the p and if you have a p then that's your p the third one is how do you ask him to pay your rent if he said you must ask for anything i'm always straightforward 
I'm always straightforward because I just feel like if I keep running around or keep I'm straightforward yeah when I want to specifically ask for something I'm gonna say may I please have money for rent how much is your rent five thousand straightforward right that's the money that you want but when it comes to babe say maybe I saw something babe can I please have money for something how much ah that question yeah how much is the one that that finishes me but if it's something that also I, I personally I don't ask for money unless I want it because I'm with somebody that just dashes do you get what I'm saying he just dash you, you just sits you give big notification so I am with yeah like I said I, I, I don't have to get to a point where I literally have to ask but when I do ask is for something serious like it's definitely something serious like I would need money for I remember when I had to oh when I went to when I went home babe can I please have money for Patreon and talk it straight to the point simple and this one knows how much my 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 full tank is but he'll just say my full tank is 400 obviously sorry he'll put more than that so that even when I want to come back you get in my talk it so it send me like five hundred five thousand to go home or something like that I'm making a prime example so sorry Ugh. I'm definitely sick. Um. So, when you want to ask your man for money from a man, please be straightforward. Just get straight to the point, babe. Can I please have money for one, two, three? Don't be scared to ask for it, cause the same way he ain't scared to ask for pussies, the same way you shouldn't be scared to ask for money. <laughs> okay. Kanyimbao said, you are there to be protected for, protect something, protect and serve. You must protect your bank account, your bank card or something. <laughs> so, men, men are, are, are known to be, uh, what's this thing? Men are known to be providers. So, you just be specific. Be straight to the point. Babe, can I have money for one, two, three? Unless you want to buy a bag. <laughs> I'm always buying bags. So I've finally got to a point where I'll just go buy my bag and keep leave him out of it and so unless he sees a bag and he's like I saw a bag do you want it and I'm like yes but also can you I just saw a belt as well <laughs> so you'll just get a belt so be specific my babe I feel like that also helps you because it, it gives you home train it gives not home train it gives you training because you are one thing guys about money it's hard to ask for money Yo, I used to be the babe that used to ask for money and then I switch off my phone, I switch off my desk, I switch off everything, I switch off the actual phone. <laughs> and then I'm just like, you get. So when you ask for money, just ask. Don't even be scared. I feel like that's your man, man. Why should you be scared? That's your man. So yeah. The next one is on what would EXO do? Hey mama, I'm 21. Stuck between taking my boyfriend seriously and keeping my sneaky link. If you have, let's let's be serious once. If you have a boyfriend at that present moment, be with your man. Be with your man. There's no need for you to have a sneaky link. I, 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 there's no need for that at all. Like, I personally, uh, when I'm in a relationship with somebody, I don't do sneaky links. I'm faithful and I'm, I'm for and with that person. So in as much as you're 21, I understand we set the whole thing of exploring your options or whatever, but you are with somebody. If you are single, then I would have said, of course, keep your sneaky link, see other people, go on dates, explore, do whatever. But you are with somebody. It's a, There's a difference, guys. If you're with somebody, there's no point in you having a sneaky link. Unless, really, you just want to cheat and just fuck around. P, that's yours. I don't judge. But if you're going to be with somebody, then be faithful to that person. If you want to have a link, then have a link. Entirely up to you. But like I said, if you're going to have a boyfriend, in as much as you're 21 years old, I just think be faithful to him and be with him. If you want the link, none of mine. Exactly. Um, the next one is I'm falling for him and I know what's, I know that's a wrong move, but I can't help myself. Why is it a wrong move though? Is, is there, it's raining by the way guys, if you guys, if my microphone picks up the rain, it's raining. Why is it a wrong move? Why do you think it's a wrong move? Because it might be a wrong move in a sense of you saying, if he was, if he's a link, then it's definitely a wrong move. Sneaky links are not supposed to be 
you get so I don't know why it's a wrong move but also if you like him and he doesn't like you yes again it's a wrong move but also girls have this thing where they like a guy and they don't tell him and you are holding yourself back from something that might potentially be great you might potentially be with a man that's gonna love you you're just holding back because you're not making the the the, the move yet i personally do not make moves <laughs> i personally do not make moves but well i haven't made oh, i only made one move on my sneaky link that was like two years ago i told him that i liked him that the only to find out that he likes me too and we were together for like a year we we're not dating we were sneaky linking for a year so if you like him please do tell him what if he likes you too what you get so put that whole thing i'm the man i'm the girl he must chase me not babe if you like him tell him if he doesn't like you please gather your shit and move on simple um the next one is Oh my god, I have um whoo I have since stopped calling and texting. Who's I don't know why why these are like that. Okay, let me cancel that one. The next one is people say I'm rude and mean, but I'm just assertive. How do I make them understand that I am really not? You are like me. This is why I don't assertive people don't have a lot of friends. Because you're 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 uh, I want to say this in a more respectful way. Bu, you, I don't know how to say it in English. But buena has that thing, you know. You have that that authority thing. It's an authority, author, uh, It's an authority thing. Yeah, I it. It's an authority thing. I'm a very assertive person. Yeah, and I tell a spade as a spade. I won't lie to you. I won't say, friend, let's do this, let's do this, let's jump off a cliff. No. A spade is a spade. So if people don't take that the right way, then those, then those people are not for you. Thank God I have friends that understand that I tell a spade as a spade. You get what I'm saying? So if the people that you're with do not understand that, those people aren't for you. Because th there's no way you guys are going to get along. There's actually no ways that you guys are going to get along. You need to be with people that understand that you are not a mean person. You, this is just the person that you are. Straightforward, straight talker, no bullshitting. That's just who you are. That's the type of person I am. And I think this is why when I can't say something, my face will speak for me. Because I, and also, I can't control my face. In either a friendly setup or whatever setup, if someone says something that takes me off guard, my face will react. I don't know how do you not understand that thing. Especially in people that... You know, so being an assertive person is not a bad thing at all. That's why I say be with people that will understand that that's the type of person that you are. You are not a bad person. You are just firm in what you believe in. The next one is I have a baby with my boyfriend now. I'm not feeding him anymore. I feel like he's holding me back. Please, by all means, let him go. Let him go. I feel like we hold on to this happy family thing because we had a baby together. I want our baby to grow up with both parents. Please, babe, let him go. Because now it's not about your happiness. You just take your happiness and put it at the back. I always say to people, and this may be wrong to some people, but I always say to people, you are with somebody who doesn't make you happy. You consistently and continu continuously cry every single day. But you will stay and be with that person. I think maybe my tolerance level are not there at all anymore. It took one man to change my life forever. And I just knew from there on that I will never ever in my life be accustomed to such nonsense. My happiness and my peace comes first. Even if it's something that I know that is going to bring me 50 million rand. But if I'm not at peace with it, I don't want it. Guys, we turn down campaigns. We turn down campaigns. Um, I remember we, I was having a conversation with Chuta. There was this campaign that wanted to give me 80,000. I said, what? I don't want that. I don't. And my thing is, they didn't say, um, he, um, what is your budget? They said, this is the budget. I said, no, it's not. I think, uh, let me fucking find out you lying. Yeah. I said, no. I turned down. Do you know how much 18,000? I said, I don't want it. 
this is what I charge, this is what I want, and if there's any negotiations, this is what I'm offering to you. I'm the brand. You want me. So you can't tell me how much you want to pay me. No. So be firm in everything, in, 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 in knowing and understanding that your peace is everything. So don't settle for, for less. I just feel like just because you guys had a baby, it's not the end of the world. Please, by all means, leave and be happy. You will definitely be happy, only one, and your baby, until you find a man that's going to come and love you and sweep you off your feet. Do you get what I'm saying? The next one is, you found out that your husband impregnated someone. Um, questions like these, I, I don't know how to answer because I've never been in a situation like that. And also, it's a whole marriage. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I don't know. And I don't want to lie to you because I'll just say, yeah, I'll leave because this, yo, there's just too much at stake. So, you see, like these ones, I don't know how by any means to answer them because I have never been in this situation. You know? The next one is being ghosted by a friend then she keeps stuff that you borrowed instead of returning it. Honestly, I'd let it go unless it's something major, but also like, what are you guys borrowing your friends? I know. What do I borrow my friends? I can borrow my friends. Yo, I, I don't, maybe a straightener. And we stop being friends. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely go buy a new straightener. I really do not have time to be running after you for something that is like 300. No worries, babe. I'll definitely, definitely just leave you alone. But like if I bur I don't even know what I'll be doing, you're borrowing my bags. What? No is. So if it's something small as a straightener, babe, just just let it go. Just let it go. Don't even think you just let it go. The next one is when you love someone but they don't really love you, please choose yourself. By all means, choose yourself, put yourself first. Guys, you you people that have been following me have been following me for a little I live and die i am made of peace i am made of choosing myself continuously because men are very selfish and if given the the given the platform or given the opportunity they will choose themselves over and over don't ever think you are a mean person or you full of yourself by putting yourself forth never you should come first and then the next person second that's why a man should love you more than you love him. That is the gospel and the Bible with Mary's child with the lambs that were coming from the butcher. That's them. Don't ever, ever think by putting yourself forth, you're being selfish. You're not selfish. You know exactly why you're putting yourself forth because you know the love that you deserve. So don't ever, ever, ever love someone more than, love a man more than a man loves you. No. Ours is to submit. Yes, love love him, but ours is to submit. So don't babe. <laughs> the next one is dating a man who wants to get married and is trying his best but doesn't have money. Personally, I would leave. I guys, I'm not meant to come in this world to suffer. One thing about me, I'm not meant to come in this world to suffer. And also I have my own. So I will not be with a man that doesn't have his own because clearly so shallagu so jani. So like Tando, Roja Lavu, I never please let's not even lie to ourselves. I cannot handle broke because I'm not broke. I have money. Serious money. So let's not even lie to ourselves. And I'm saying serious money because Nali was serious money, I'm manifesting it even more. I have money to live. I have money to take care of me. I have money to Walk into a store and buy whatever I want. That's the money that I have. His money must be long. A man must have long money, please. I don't care what nobody says. So, if you, by all means, my love can eat, love can, 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 the love can pay bills, the love can pay your house, your car, school fees, by all means, please love the hell out of each other. But personally, I'll never be with a man who doesn't have money. I'm sorry, I can't do it. My battery telling me that he's talking for me. Um, I don't feel sexy slash beautiful anymore. I don't even post anymore. I don't post myself anymore. I know how you feel, yeah. I've been there before. I've definitely been there before because there was a time where I didn't I don't know, like 
I don't know if you guys have seen the transition from before surgery and after surgery. I never used to post a lot of body pictures because I was very, you know, in as much as yes, but we accept ourselves uh, because I can't accept myself with a small bum. I can't. Self love came after. Yes, it was there, small, small. But when you wake up and you still see your small bum, it's just like, ugh. You still see your love handles, it's just like, ugh. You get. So it's a process. It's 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 something that takes time. But also my thing is, if it's something that you can change, please by all means do. But if it's something that you can't change, there's no way you're gonna dwell on that thing for the rest of your life. Personally, I didn't love my body, I didn't love my love handles, and it was something that I could what? I could change, which I did. You know what I'm saying? I did, and thank God I had the resources to change it. So, like I said, if it's something that you can change, by all means, please change it. But if you can't change that thing, then there's no way you're going to dwell on that for the rest of your life. It will not, it doesn't make sense at all. So, I hope you find the sexiness, the beautiful you again and you, you start posting and you know what I'm saying but sometimes just waking up just like today I just felt on a so I just woke up beat my face looked beautiful did my hair that made me feel beautiful you know what I'm saying that made me feel beautiful vain things make me feel make me happy <laughs> I don't know if you've realized vain things make me happy oh babe I live right I'm made of vain you know so do the things that make you happy. Do the things that make you feel beautiful in order for you to feel it again. You get what I'm saying? But like I said, if you can't change it, there's no way you're going to dwell on it forever, my love. There's actually no way. Whew. I think I'm taking two more and I'm done. Um, what do you, what would you do if your boyfriend of seven years cheated on you, had a baby, then dumped you for someone else? I'd move on. Clearly, he's moving on. Why must you be stressing yourself? He's clearly moving on. So please, by all means, babe, do best and move on as well. Just, it's even better because you not you don't have the baby. You can just move on with your life. You don't have any attachments to him. You're not even linked to him by any chance. So don't be that girl. Move on, please. Move on. Rocking me. I'm so scared of getting into a relationship because I got hurt. I'm so closed off. Sometimes it's scary. I know how you feel personally. I, I think the loss, not the loss, sorry. The relationship just that changed the game for me was the one that also messed me up that I was so scared of getting into anything, anything new or whatever. But then gradually I saw Musi Norman, I deserve love. I am fully, fully deserving of being loved unconditionally. Me not, not, um, what's this word? me not questioning the love you get what i'm saying you deserve it. um ooh, 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 no, say to me you deserve a soft landing i deserve a soft love i deserve a partner who's soft with me meaning at death guys you deserve somebody that's going to be soft with you if it's something that you feel from the get-go that it's not what i want please by all means leave leave the table because what you want is not being served you get what i'm saying so everybody deserved a soft love. Everybody deserved to be with somebody that when you just look at this person, everything, because you are just so smitten by this person. So it's scary to be in something new. It's scary to be with someone new because now you have to learn their traits. They have to learn you too. It's just the process of learning. But it's trial and error. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't work out, still fine. Because we cannot be living in fear the whole time because of what will happen. What is going to happen? Is this person going to hurt me? No. Live in the moment. Love hard. Love your partner hard. Love yourself harder. Love your partner hard. Love yourself harder. <laughs> but don't be scared to get into anything. And as much as it's the most frightening thing, it's also the most amazing feeling. Guys, you know when you first stop when you first start talking to somebody, oh my god. When your phone just rings, you just jump. If it just rings and my phone is there. So it's amazing being loved by somebody. It's amazing loving somebody. Like when two people just decide that listen, we want to do this life thing together, it's amazing. So why would you not want to share that with somebody? So bring the God down a bit. Not all the way down, a bit, a bit. <laughs> Bring the gut down a bit and 
just try to let love in. Let love in and let it lead you. If it finishes, fine. If it doesn't finish, then it's still good. We keep it moving. We just have to keep it moving at some point. Yeah. I don't want to make this video long. So I am going to do another one. Don't worry. There's going to be a part two about it. If you um did like this video, please do let me know. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, I'm only taking 10 questions. I hope that was 10 because why wow, I didn't even count. But I hope that the, the what's this? The, um, I can't speak today. I can't speak today. <laughs> I hope the advice that I gave you is something that you can use now in the near future, whenever that you can. And it's something that will shed light into a situation that you might be going through that the same person that um, sent the message is also going through. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how as people, we may be going through the same thing and don't even know who to talk to. And then now I come up with the video and you're just like, shit, this person's actually going through something that I'm going through. So I, I really love doing such videos because I'm not helping one people. I'm helping multiple people, like I said, who may be going through the same thing. But with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on my next one. Like I said, there is definitely going to be a part two because the questions were a lot. And I want to cover almost all of them. So I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Uh -huh.